All right, moving on. Here it says using a graphics calculator, or, well, you can always just, um, just ignore whenever it says that because we're using a graphics calculator, the TI-89. So when we're doing this, it says uh, to, um, for each of the following, use that, or otherwise stated, do the following. Given these quadratic functions, produce a table of values. Hmm. Okay, well, we can sketch it. How are we going to produce a table of values? Now, what's the table of values? Just this, making this here. This is where it gets good because doing that table is really boring, I think, but guess what? Let's have a look uh, here at our calculator. Switch it on. We go to input our functions here. We input them by pressing the green button there. It's green on your calculator. And here's our tables. Now we can put in y equals x squared. There's x. There's to the power of button 2. So there it is, x squared. We, we have to input it. Enter. And we've got another one as well. Um, well, I'll do that first. Yeah, I might as well put it in. So we've got 5x to the power of 2. So there it is, 5x squared. Notice you don't have to put the times in. It'll, it'll recognize that. That's pretty cool. So we've input them. But we have to do this, uh, this table of values. Now, that's annoying. That's really annoying. How are we going to do this? Well, notice it says here, table. Let's check it out. Green button, because that's a green letter. Table. Hey, look at that. So here, we're asked to do it for values of x from minus 2 to 2. Now, actually, it continues on C. All these values here of x. x is equal to minus 6. But we're only interested from minus 2. So I'll put that one up the top just by clicking that until I... There it is. From minus 2 to 2, which is what we wanted here. Now, what's this y1? Well, y1 corresponds back here... Oops. Corresponds back here to this function. y1, x squared. It's only got y1 and y2 here to differentiate. This is the first relationship. This is the second, and they've used a 1 and a 2 here just to indicate that. So that's our y1, that's our y2. Uh, so there's our two functions and so going back to that table, there it is, it's produced it for us. So our first function, this belongs to y equals x squared, well there's the x value, x squared, minus 2 times minus 2 is plus 4, yep that's, that's that one there. And this one here is the other function here, y equals 5x squared. Just check it out y equals, that's minus 2 times minus 2 is 4, that's the x squared part, times 5, 4 times 5 is 20, yep, there it is, so there are all your values there. So we've done it, we didn't have to draw a table at all, we just put in the functions and this uh, nice little calcula calculator here did it for us. Part B, sketch the graphs of this on the same axis by hand, poop, hate doing graphs. I want to do it in the calculator anyway. Look at this. There it is, graph. Click that button there, go to the graph, and look at that. Did both of them for us. So there's our there's our particular function, a uh, particular graphs um, here, so that's that's all, all very good. Um, notice if we just go oops, along here, we've got zoom, and we can go down to zoom in or zoom out. We want to zoom in or zoom out. Well, zooming in takes us closer, it'll make the graph bigger. So let's oops, just go down one, and then go enter. And new center, it's asking where you want the center, we want it to be there. So that's okay, we'll say yes, that's fine. Okay, and it's taken us a bit closer. That's not worked so much. Um, that's not really much better, is it? We'd have to change the axis. I'll discuss that with you in class, how you go about that. Here it says to do it by hand. Look, I'm not going to do this with you. You know, you've got to draw your axis do it properly um, in there. Take the values that we had on the on the calculator here, go back to the table, and take those values here, plot your you know, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 here, your 1, 2, 3 here, and then just use the, the y values here. Um, it's always good to start by looking at what the highest one is, 20, so you know you're going to have to have this scale here uh, with a 20 on it. Well, let's continue on. Looking through this uh, here, uh, it's got plot these these curves on here. Now look, I don't care if you do it on here or if you use your calculator to do it. That's entirely up to you. Here it's asking you 
When you've done this, notice this is y equals x squared, 2x squared, 4x squared. What's the relationship between these graphs? Now that's why I went up here and I did all this. That's why I talked to you about the translating or dilating or reflecting. So the question's asking you, what does that A do there when you change the number? What does it do to the graph? And now you need to give your answer as it dilates the graph or it stretches it or does it translate it or whatever it happens to do. Moving on to this question, same thing, it's just exploring these numbers here. You can use your calculator to do it, I've got no problem with that. Um, here, what about when it's negative? What effect does it have? A minus 2, what does it do to the graph? Again, you need to go back and use those expressions of dilating or reflecting uh, or translating. And this is what's all the way through here, it's just exploring those particular uh, parts of that, that, um, that function. Alright, now we get up to a different section here. Um, Right, now up to a different section here. This is looking at uh, the powers of x that are not squared. And how do they look like? What do they look like? Now mostly you're going to have to use your either your calculator to do this or just draw them by hand by making a table of values. So here you need to just play around with it. Put in these values uh, here. So consider this one here. It's y equals x to the power of 4. So construct your table of values. Now I've just shown you how to do that on the calculator. You go back to here to the Y value, green button Y, and you would go back up here, clear, get rid of that go up there, clear, because if you don't get rid of it, it'll draw it on the graph. And now we're going to put in X to the power of 4. Enter. Okay, if you're going to do the table of values, you go here, table of values, well there they are but we weren't interested in the graph. What does it look like? Okay, that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Looks like a parabola. It's actually not, and we need to zoom in more closely here and have a look, little look at it. But um, I'm going to leave that for you to, you to explore yourself. Look, the rest of these uh, are really much, much the same, this sort of thing, exploring these graphs. So look, I think I can leave it at there. You've probably got enough uh, now to finish off uh, this work. So for school, for exercises 1.1 through to 1.4, I'm wanting all those finished and I'll be posting also uh, a little assignment for you to do ready for when you come back to school uh, just in a couple of weeks time. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the holidays, I hope these set of videos has been uh, useful for you.